It depends our New Year's edition, and today we are going over the residential real estate performance in quadrant styles of homes, uh, certain price points, and of course, outer lying areas here. So we've got lots to cover. So uh, grab a coffee and uh, let's get into it. Uh, so just kind of starting off and recapping the sales performance of the last 360 days, the second half of the year, the spike in sales, the lack of inventory, and the low interest rates have almost uh, superseded the um, uh, or offset at the initial impact of uh, early stages of COVID there in March, April, and June. Um, but we are still far below the uh, historical long range benchmark prices here. So let's get into it and let's start talking about uh, the quadrants and let's see what are the winners and the losers in terms of pricing. Uh, supply is, uh, is lacking across the board. It's not going to make a difference of the region um, or the, um, of the areas there, but um, we definitely know that um, prices are affected. So uh, let's, I'm going to share my screen here and uh, let's jump into starting with the quadrants here. So we can see that, that the city center and the west side of the city um, uh, were a little bit more affected. Prices are still trending down. Uh, the winners of the quadrants are the southeast and the south end of the city there. So when somebody is asking, you know, like, what should we offer? What do you think? Uh, does your pricing need to be crisp? Uh, you know, it obviously depends on the district of the city there. Uh, other areas that are seemingly performing well are the north end. Uh, anything uh, around the Stony Trail there has had a positive gains. Um, partially because of the price point there, it's an attractive price point and um, it's still fairly good access to get onto Stony that'll take you to Deerfoot or out towards the mountains there. Uh, let's jump into the detached sales here. So you can see here that uh, the detached sales had almost a 10,000 sales um, for the year of 2020. It's slightly higher than 2019 but uh, still lower than you can see here than what it was in 2014. Um, but you know, the interesting one is the lack of inventory here. So, you know, your months of supply. So here you can see in March, you know, that we did have that spike, but it's been quickly absorbed and uh, is not getting necessarily replenished. So we are looking at, um, you know, just under three, three uh three months of supply right now so that's something that is very noteworthy and obviously in the segment of the market where pricing is a factor anything over 750 you know your months of supply starts to definitely trend upwards but anything that's hovering under 550 500 uh you know if it's a decent property we're not seeing it last very long there Jumping into the semi-detached market here, um, you know, overall, um, it's kind of a net neutral across the board in terms of the districts, um, you know, but we're seeing, you know, that um, we had positive sales for semi-detached in the northeast, northwest and southeast quadrant of the city. Um, but overall, the, uh, the pricing is pretty much level right across the board overall we're leading to a reduction in supply, but you know, as I've alluded to, we're lacking in supply all over the city there. So this is why it's probably beneficial. If you have been considering to sell, maybe a good time to try and exercise um, the price that you're wanting um, and or if you uh, haven't been able to sell in the past that now may be uh, the time because we are definitely seeing a jump in uh, buyers and on lead reg registrations right now. Um, and you know, that is starting to impact the pricing a little bit. So you may start to see trending of pricing go up. Um, we'll watch that carefully here over the next, uh, 60 to 90 days as well. The weather outside has been really decent out and, you know, it, uh, it's kind of getting people out of the house right now and giving them a reason. So, you know, if you can't have the social gathering, um, <laughs> You know, book an appointment with your favorite agent and uh, you may be able to uh, spend some time 
with, uh, with, with some people that you like. All right, let's get into the row housing here. So row housing, um, you know, the rest, the, <clears throat> this is one of the exceptions where uh, in the West and as well as the rest of the city, the long-term address has been a little bit sluggish, but, you know, we have had a reduction in um, supply as well in this market, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's causing the months of supply to trend down. So that's a positive thing. So if you're in a row house and you're looking to get uh, more square footage, or maybe you want to get out of the um, uh, condo fees, this may be a time to start to uh, strategize and be looking to move up. Um, you know, and the price adjustments it didn't seem to vary um, depending on the location or the district. So that's a positive thing. Um, but we did see a bit of a decline uh, in the Northeast in terms of pricing. It, um, but overall, everywhere else uh, has had some positive momentum. The big winner here for the month of December were the Calgary apartment sales. Uh, strongest sales that we have seen since 2014. Um, you know, albeit our sales are still down and off 10% off pace uh, this year, but it was positive uh, trending upwards um, with momentum. So it's the first time that I think I've said that in probably three or four years since I've been doing this segment. And I would say that you may want to watch this because affordability is certainly there. Certainly if you're a first time buyer with 5% down, um, this may be the time to jump in and, um, you know, as they say, by the time something hits the bottom, it's already on the way up. So it's tough to say to time it, but again, watch that market over the next uh, 60 days and we will, uh, we will see and chart here. So that's positive. Uh, the regions. So all across the board here, it doesn't matter if you're in Airdrie or, uh, or Okotoks. Uh, we are seeing uh, positive sales all across the board there. So let's start with Airdrie here. Airdrie uh, sales or prices are up six and a half or just over 6.2% uh, year over year. Um, that's phenomenal considering in January of last year, the inventory levels were certainly high. Um, you know, we've seen a gain of over 18%. And that is, uh, that's almost unheard of uh, over the last couple of years in Airdrie there. So the months of supply is below 3%. And, um, you know, the prices are just trending up. So if, you know, Airdrie was looking like a, uh, a good buy um, because of lifestyle, uh, that's certainly starting to change. You know, it offers a lot of amenities. There's distribution centers there, accessibility to cross iron. Uh, so it certainly offers a lot. And now that people are not having to commute into Calgary there, um, you know, they're looking at options uh, and small towns certainly afford that kind of lifestyle. Uh, looking at Cochrane here, Cochrane again, uh, off the charts, prices are up over six and a half percent year over year, uh, an annual sales game of uh, 16%. So, you know, that's the best year over the last five years uh, of sales uh, recorded here. Uh, you know, we've got rising sales, you know, less inventory is causing, you know, obviously prices are going to start trending up there because um, there's only two months of supply in Cochrane right now. It's, uh, you know, again, it's unheard of, you know, so prices are definitely trending up. Um, you know, we say, uh, you know, it's it's just, it's stable it's and it's in a recovery mode there. Uh, talking about Okotoks, you know, despite further declines in new listings, you know, the sales have improved. They uh, increased nearly 8%, you know, again, lack of inventory. That's the, that's the common theme here today. Um, increasing prices, you know, the second half of the year, certainly offset, um, you know, from the first part of the year. Um, so I would say overall, you know, if you're looking um, and trending, even uh, Chestmere had positive gains. Uh, all types of, uh, you know, Chestermere is a bit of a lifestyle community with the, uh, with the lake there. Um, you know, it's, it's stable. It's got the schools and now you've got, um, you know, the big box store with the Costco's, uh, you know, five minutes away, just off of 84th and 17th there. So that's kind of it rounding out. So again, the common theme right now is, um, lack of inventory, um, you know, sales are probably lower than what they, what they were, and it's making it really attractive for buyers to get into the market. So if you're a buyer, I don't know how long I'd be waiting to sit on the fence there. 
um, because um, you know if it stays warm outside and uh, prices are stabilizing, you know sellers have you know for the most part are in a bit of the driver's seat right now, depending on the price and the community. Um, so if you want to know more about what communities are hot, which ones aren't, and um, you know prices that are working. And if you want to know um, where your home lies in the market, by all means, give us a call 403-809-3523. And remember, we're not just Calgary Realtors or Calgary born and raised. Enjoy the rest of the week and enjoy the warm weather. Cheers.